So the first thing we're actually going to talk about, we've got a few things to go over. But uh, Mozza, where were you on January 25th? Mm-hmm. Well, you might want to think of your alibi because a hunt for dildo bandit after brazen theft <laughs> from a love heart adult that, store. The twum is two hours away, cunt. Fuck. It's, it's <laughs> only <laughs> two hours. Say that. It's only no, two hours. You're making worse, Mazda. <laughs> See, that's no like alibi, buddy, mother. because you you traveled two hours because you thought you'd be able to get away with it. That's the problem. <laughs> I just want to say the words again, dildo bandit. That's fucking funny. A dildo funny, bandit. Yeah. It's like a um, butt fug. I like that word as well. It's a butt fug and a dildo bandit. Okay, so a kinky thief is on the run after pocketing a, quote, very big <laughs> sex toy from a regional Australian adult store. Is that a very big sex toy in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? I'm also even a fanny <laughs> pack. Look at that. Oh, my God. He's ready. It's funny you say that because over here, fanny can also mean vagina. Yeah, yeah, we call a it a vagina we, pack. Look at that. We call it a bum bag. <laughs> yeah, a bum bag. Well, it doesn't really matter in this context, you know, <laughs> wherever you're putting it. <laughs> Whether it's uh, in your a kinky... or your bum. <laughs> a... <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Uh, a kinky thief is on the run after pocketing a very big dildo from an adult store in regional <laughs> Queensland. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? The, how's this area pronounced again, Musa? Toowoomba. A Toowoomba. The to- the Toowoomba yeah. Chronicle. Oh my god. Sounds like the next fucking saga Narnia. of movies. Um, yeah, the Toowoomba the Chronicles movie. and the Witch in the Wardrobe uh, <laughs> reported the owner of Loved Heart Adult Store owner arrived on the store on January 21st to find its largest tester missing. What are you what? testing? What, are, what do you mean a tester? Yeah. yeah it's like when you go into the bakery. It's like when you go into the bakery and they've got like some but chopped up. Like, what the yeah. heck? It's just yeah. here. Test I'm just going to stick oh, that okay. dildo in my pussy and just see if what it works. Fuck? What were you going to say? Sorry, Wicked? I just said, ew. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, they wa- they it. wash it afterwards, or at least wipe it with a napkin, so it's basically clean. Yeah, oh, oh, get those um, good. what do they call it? Those KFC napkins. They just wipe it over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sanitary napkins. <laughs> Why does that make it worse? Wipe. A wet wipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't take long to track down where it went. Ash the owner said it was the perfect angle. The camera got everything. It wasn't sneaky at all. Footage from the store's CCTV shows a man grabbing the large sex toy, looking at it briefly, then pocketing it. There he is. Is that Daniel? Okay. Is it in his pocket? Dan- I can't tell. Oh, no. Daniel, where were you at this hour? <laughs> he continues to wander around the store, checking out other merchandise before leaving. So Ash told the Toowoomba <laughs> Chronicle the $200 price tag could have put the assailant off. Dude, $200 for a fucking dildo? Are you serious? How much not, is a cucumber not these dildo. days? Not just any, it's the biggest one they have in the store. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the biggest one. <laughs> Lethal, <laughs> Lethal, if it's got a good suction base or anything, it's probably worth its weight in it as well. And, you know, it's probably durable. You can rewash it and, you know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've, a, I've actually got a funny story about a dildo. All uh, right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's pull it out. So, as most of you know, <laughs> um, as most of you know, as most of you know, I'm a car salesman. So, I was working at the dealership, and in the one morning, we get what? to work, and just sitting in the garden, there was a like a big fucking black dildo, and it was really funny because African what we American did, dildo. Some of the salesmen that work. <laughs> Some of the salesmen that work at the dealership, they get like a company car, so they get to drive one of the cars. So what me and one of the other sales guys did is we got a Macca's bag, we put it in the Macca's bag and put it in the glove box of his of one of the other salesmen's car. The funny thing was that he took it over the weekend and his son, his son oh, got in the no. seat. And pulled it out. He's like, Dad, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and, he, and he came into work the next, like, the following Monday and, like, was like, who fucking put that in my glove box? It was just a funny fucking situation. Yay. So if you're watching, it was him. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you're not watching, so. It was the um, dildo bandit. When I was in <laughs> high school, 
when I was in high school, me and a friend, we had one of those like free periods where you can just wander around and not go to class. Mm. So I can't remember what we did. Probably went to fucking smoke weed or some shit. Um, so we're coming back and my friend like stops and stares at the bush on the way in. He's like, what the fuck is that? And he runs into it and he pulls out this fucking big dildo. And we're teenagers high. So we think it's the funniest shit on the fucking planet. <laughs> And we're like running around, like slapping it on windows and classes yeah. and slapping kids down the corridor with it as well, just being menaces. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine, imagine just trying to do school and get hit by a fucking dildo. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good times. Uh, okay. The, the, so it's a very big item to steal. I guess, by the way, he put it in his pocket. Staff wouldn't be looking there, she said. Okay. Uh, earlier, he picked up the box and he must have seen the two hundred dollar prize tag and didn't want to pay it, so he took the next best option, the tester. So what they're saying is, there's like you know where like you go to like buy like a TV and there's like the display model. Yeah. It's like oh. the display model dildo. So the dude just said, "I'll just take fucking that one and just walk off with that." Ooh. But it's like, like how do you test call it? A tester? Yeah. How do you but... test a dildo? Like that's it's just such a weird. Uh, well, put it in okay. your mouth, right now. Yeah, right. right. When, 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 a, when a man or a woman really loves a bit of plastic, they can put it with it. You know? hmm. Hmm. Uh, in between cleaning, there's oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> in between cleaning, there's probably about 10 people that have touched it. So, hygienic wise, yeah. stealing a tester wouldn't be my first choice. Gross. Hey, you stick that up your That's ass. Nasty. Whoa. Is that Whoa. Maza? Is that Maza? Maza? No. You were there. I knew it. I was yeah. not. Why do you have He's the evil disguise. queen on your chest? Why do you have Michael Myers? What the fuck? You know that's, that's, that's I know. He doesn't even know his name. He calls him Michael Mikers or whatever the heck he's Michael <laughs> Mikers. <laughs> yeah, is that, the, is that the queen or whatever it is yeah, from Snow yeah. White? Yeah. That'll yeah, be the, the first queen. time Maza's ever had a woman on his chest. <laughs> he wore his disguise. His they them disguise. Yeah, that's and this. Uh, for those of you who anyway. don't know what a, 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 a lot of you probably don't know what the words rural Queensland mean. This is uh, a very no. good, accurate description. Yeah, that is rural of, Queensland right there. Is that a what? Blabs you racist? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Police are aware and looking into the theft. She said outside the most recent incident, the regional centre had been, that's what I said, groping, uh, grappling with lower spending amid the current economic climate. So we're in the middle of like a recession, so people aren't buying enough dildos. So go out and support your local sex store, I guess. Yeah, uh, get your clip ticklers. <laughs> Tell them Mozza sent you. What's a tickler? Yeah. Maybe they'll give you a discount uh, if Mozza goes. A clip tickler. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's where, perfect. When, when that's they don't that's understand what it is. Tickler is. It's like a, it's like a ring, oh, it's like a ring that the dude puts around his cock that sort of half vibrates. So when you get close to the clit, when you're pumping, it tickles the clit. It's called that's, a clit tickler. That's incredibly descriptive. Yeah, don't he knows all about you asked what it was. Yeah, what the fuck? He knows <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I know what's. Uh, I, yeah, what? He, he no, always wonders what he's trying to say. Look at this part. Uh, Lo, she encouraged first timers to the world of sex toys to come to check out her store. Okay, cheeky plug to the sex store, I guess. We're not the only ones struggling, unfortunately, with the cost of living rising. Everyone is more careful with how they spend, uh, she said. Uh, It can be a little overwhelming for new customers, but that's what we're there for, to make you feel comfortable. Uh, If they have any concern and they don't like talking about it, we're very familiar with a lot of sensitive things. We're here to help. So halfway through, this just turned into advertisement. So I reckon she fucking set the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah, it's her Maza. boyfriend. She Maza just wanted did. it. Maza did it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where to start with this one. Let's start with Blabs. Blabs has been the most, like, freaked out one by this whole thing. What did I even say? Well, you know, sometimes face says oh. more than the words. You know how we can prove that it's Moza? How can we prove that it's Moza? Let's just blur out his face and we'll see if it matches the description. <laughs> Split out. Hey, like Legion of Memers. <laughs> Legion of Memers. Blur it and get us a side by side. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Forensic investigations. <laughs> nah, but Blabs, this is a whole new world to you. What do you think of stealing the tester? That's the disgusting, tester. dude. It's disgusting. I don't even like try on like. The makeup samples you go at, you know, you can get like the little Q tips and try and dip it in whatever and try. Oh and yeah, no, don't. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Might get herpes. 
So yeah, what's yeah, more hygienic, yeah. that or the tester? Which is what? Yeah. More hygienic. Neither. Neither. Well, it depends. That's both you, disgusting. It depends if you say, like, something looks like chocolate on the end of this tester. Ew. <laughs> 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 Oh no! Uh, what, what about you, Grant? What, what? How do you feel about the theft of dildos? Well, I think I think everyone, as everyone knows, the sex shop is the heart and soul of the Queensland economy. So I mean, this is, this is really gonna, this is really gonna, really gonna, really gonna hurt them. And I mean, a two hundred dollar one, if it's the one in the picture, it's clearly not worth it. And it being a tester, you probably would be able to get a bit of a discount on it. So they didn't even ask. So I mean, it does have a scratch on it. Like, yeah, it's like oh yeah, it's like oh. There's a I can't dent. do. I can do one twenty. You know, one twenty. Yeah. It's like okay. I, I don't want the box. I just want the thing inside the box. You know, I'll give you eighty for it. Like, no haggling whatsoever. Just yeah, what? dirty thief. This is supposed to go inside the box. Well, yeah, it's kind of the point. Yeah, Rhino. Oh my god! I can't say anything tonight. Ew, Rhino! You seem to know what you're talking about. Ew, Rhino! Oh, yeah. gross! Well, Look at chocolate can... on the tip. Steph, what's your stance on dildo bandits? How do you feel about dildo bandits in this economy? Uh, you know, in this economy, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you stand with what the what dildo bandit? Do. Okay. Uh, you stand with the dildo they bandit? They obviously wanted this really, really badly. They needed it, and they did what they had to do to get it. And they got it. Right? They got it. <laughs> That's fair. You That's fair. It. What about okay. you? All they got to do is just boil some water, stick it in the water, and sanitize that. <laughs> clean it. <laughs> Get some rubbing alcohol. <laughs> rubbing alcohol. Clean that thing. It's good to go. Clean, <laughs> clean that thing. <laughs> Steph, Steph, clean that thing. <laughs> Steph supports the dildo bandit. Wicked, do you support the dildo bandit? One in the chat if you support the dildo bandit. Two if you don't. Um, I mean, yeah, you got to cut costs where you can. Like, he wanted it. So you got discount. it. I mean, hey, discount, discount. You got gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I'm not gonna kink shame anyone. Nope. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna... But yeah, you gotta clean it. Like Steph said, you gotta boil it. You gotta, you gotta throw some stuff on it. But you know, mm -hmm. hey, do you? Clean. I'm it. not here to judge. Like new. <laughs> like new. <laughs> what about you, Rhino? From experience, um, we got something here for our <laughs> Rhino. But five finger discount is a five finger discount, and if you know Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters wants that, you better take it. <laughs>